Hi folks, how are we all doing today? And it's time to create another game. So, so far we have been creating stories. We have created few animations. Yes, of course, we have created a game too. And today we are again creating another game. Okay. And this is going to be fun. I, I mean, I really completely enjoyed this game because it is very simple and fun. <laughs> okay. So let's see, right? I would, um, I would want to just give you an overview of what the game is and then we'll start off creating it. So around this, you can do so many more things. Okay. There are some n number of things that you can do around it. But yeah, uh, let's see how far we can do it today. Right. Okay. So yeah, it's a random clicker game. Randomly, the, you know, the sprite will change its position and you just have to click on it to get some score. Okay. So it's a random click or a game, right? Let's see how to create it, right? So I'm just uh, deleting the sprite. Let's get an, get a good backdrop, right? Some backdrop which actually is something like colorful, playful. So, um, Okay, I think uh, let's choose underwater, right? So that we can choose a, choose a fish sprite and that would look good, right? Underwater uh, clicker game. <laughs> okay, so let's go to animals because you will get animals in this. And I would be going for this fish. So let's see if we have any better options maybe. We have a starfish, but I think I would want to go with this fish. Yeah, yeah, I really like this fish. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I mean, this this looks like a Nemo, right? So I really like Nemo. That's so cute, correct? So that's why. <laughs> okay, I'm going with this fish today. So we'll add. We can add multiple effects on this. That's that's a different thing. But yeah. Let's start coding for this game, right? So it it first has to actually start moving randomly in the screen, right? So when green flag is clicked, we would want to move it. So go to events, get when flag clicked, then let's go to motion, right? You have go to random position here, okay? So you can use it to go to random position, right? So and we want it to be done forever. Okay, so let's do it forever. Yeah, let's see what happens now. So it's too fast, right? I would say uh, wait 0 0.1 seconds. Okay, we want it fast, but not that fast also, right? So yeah, and now uh, finding it and clicking it would be a little bit harder, correct? So 0 0.1 is also too hard, I mean. Let's say 0 0.5. I think uh, this is going to be a tough task, definitely. But let's see. Yeah, this, I mean, we have to create such uh, tougher games, isn't it? So go to random position and wait 0 0.5 seconds for every, you know, change of the position, right? So it's quite fast. It's not that easy. Uh, I mean, looking at it, I don't know how it feels like. But but yeah, it's 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 tough to click on it. Okay, and yeah, it is going uh, to random position always, right? When the sprite is clicked, we would want to add some sound and we would want to add uh, score. Okay, let's do something like that. So if you want to add score, you can go to variables, make a variable. So in, I mean, instead of making another variable, I would rename my variable as score. Okay, so yeah. When green flag clicked, I would set score to zero. Okay, and then when the sprite is clicked, right? So let's change score by one each time. Okay, when the sprite is clicked. And not only this, we'll also add small sound. Uh, okay, let's see what kind of a sound is this. Okay, it's, it's too long. 
okay even now uh, this doesn't work out now what i would do um i mean let's go to sounds let's see if we can get any better sound bubble oh only that bubble is there okay uh, then what I will do, I will also show you how you can crop the sounds, right? So you can just uh, do this. Okay, so it's something like that. I would say this. I think that that's cool, right? So let's use this thing, okay? Copy to your new bubbles too. Cool. <laughs> okay, we have created a new sound from that. Okay, now let's go to code and let's go to sounds and get this. I think start sound would be fine. Bubbles too. Okay, that's it. Let's see. Let's see how does this work. I would go to new screen. Full screen, sorry. Okay, it's very hard. It's too hard. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I can't. Come on. Let me just. Um... And what happened to the score? The, um, it's not uh, getting displayed on the screen, right? Let's check it to display it. I only got three score on it. I mean, it's, I only clicked on it three times. Mm, my God. It's, it's very hard. I must say it's very hard. It's very, very hard. Getting it. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing. It's too hard. It's too hard to click on it. What? Really? Okay. I am tired of clicking it. <laughs> okay. So I think I have to make it a little slower. Oh my God. It's, let's say zero, let's say one second, I think. That would be cool, at least for a beginner like me. Okay, this, this is very simple now. It's too simple. That was too fast and this is too simple for me now. Okay, okay, at least increasing score. Uh, I mean, seeing the score increase, increment, it really gives me a pleasure watching it. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So on this, you can actually do levels also, right? Like first giving easy thing like this. After reaching a score, you can increment uh, the thing, right? I mean, you, you can increase the score, right? Uh, let's say. Again, let's go to events. Let's get when green flag click. Control. So forever if let's go to operators and get so i would want to get ant operator okay because i want to check like um, what kind of a thing is this thing right basically like uh, if score is greater than 20 and less than 50 so i want to have this kind of a speed let's let's say like that right so that means greater than something and less than something we have. So let's go to variables and get score. So if score greater than 20, okay, and less than 50, right? If score is greater than 20 and less than 50, then So, okay, um, then let's, uh, let's wait for, wait for, go to random position and let's wait for 0 0.9 seconds only, okay. And here also we'll write the condition so that um, only when that condition matches, this will work, right? 
so there will be no glitch again if not um, who knows it might glitch right so let's go to control let's be on the safer side isn't it if score is less than 20 only then we would want to make this happen right so score less than 20 let's say this right 20 here and variables and score okay i think this should work now let's uh, clean up and let's do the thing right i would say this should go up yeah let's see how does this work So it should be greater than 20 now, right? So let's get 20 score. I'm just doing time pass here. Wow. I mean, this is uh, this is a good game. Uh, <laughs> if it is slow, it's, it's good. <laughs> uh, now, now it became faster. Don't you think? So then how will I know the change if it is, you know, 0 0.9, right? let's say if score is greater than 20 then we'll say 0 0.5 seconds then we would know the actual change right okay if score is less than 20 then this thing happens score is greater than 20 and less than 50 then this should happen right let's quickly check it out again we can click on it multiple times also if it is in the same position right so then you would get multiple scores. Okay, okay, it's fast now. Yeah, yeah, it's fast. I mean, see, I'm not able to click on it only. Okay, 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 okay. it's too fast. It's too fast. <laughs> okay, first level itself is too fast for me. I mean, the next level, basically, level two, right? Yes, it's absolutely working like this, right? You can absolutely try this, okay? And likewise, you can do so many more things, okay? Uh, if you want to add anything around this game, yes, you can definitely add it, right? But for today, I just wanted to create a random clicker game and this is what it is. It's very simple, right? So yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, you can do let me know in the comment section below, okay? And I will be getting back to you um, with another session in the next in the next session ah, another game in the next session i should say right oh i'm sorry okay <laughs> all right all right then so this was all about today's session guys so i hope you enjoyed this session clicking uh, the clicker game yeah, i really enjoyed this okay creating this game and yeah i'll be meeting you all in the next session bye bye guys have a great day all and thank you so much for watching this video please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks have Bye-bye and have a great day all. I'll be giving you this link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video.